Hello to all MAPI majors out there. I am Sir Walter, also a MAPI teacher in public school. So, uh, pangarap ko po na matulungan yung mga kapwa ko MAPI major na nag-aasam na magkaroon ng kanilang mga lisensya in the future. Kaya gumawa po ako ng MAPI majorship let reviewer. So, let's start. So, focus muna tayo sa arts. I know marami pong mga uh, soon to be a MAPI teacher in public schools na ang major ay BPE or Bachelor of Physical Education. So, marami po silang mga questions in terms of arts or sa subject na arts or component na arts sa MAPI. Kaya ito muna tayo, arts muna tayo. Okay, number one. So, it is one of the most crucial elements as everything begins with just a simple dot in a space. Okay? So, kapag narinig nyo po yung salitang dot, tuldok, no? Ang sagot po dyan ay A, line, B, color, C, shape, or letter D, space. So, alin sa mga yan sa tingin ninyo nagsisimula sa tuldok, no? So, Shape consists of line, tama? Space, espasyo, color or kulay, or a line. Siyempre, the answer is line, okay? Ang shape ay binubuo ng mga linya, at ang linya ay binubuo ng mga tuldok. So, the answer is a. Line is the most basic visual element. So, lines can be used to define shapes and figures, but also to indicate motion, emotion, and other elements. Okay, next, number two. It is an enclosed space, a bounded two-dimensional form that has both length and width. So, nasabi ko na kanina, no, ito ay binibuo ng mga linya. Two-dimensional, okay? So, A, dimension, B, shape, C, line, or letter D, depth. The answer is letter B. Very good, shape. Because shape is a flat and closed area of an artwork created through lines, an area enclosed by other shapes, Katulad ng triangles, circles, and squares. Alright, next. What are the characteristics of two-dimensional art? Katulad ng shape. No? A. Height and weight. B. Weight and length. C. Length and width. Or letter D. Height and length. So, sa art, wala namang weight, no? Height and length, parang redundant. So, the answer is letter C, length and width. Because a two-dimensional shape can be defined as a flat plane figure-like shape or a shape that has two dimensions, katulad ng length and width, Two-dimensional or 2D shapes do not have any thickness and can be measured in only two phases. Okay? Next, number four. It refers to the surface quality in a work of art. The keyword there is surface. Okay? A, color. B, space. C, texture or letter D, shape. What is your answer? Hmm? Letter C. Texture. We associate textures with the way that things look or feel. Everything has some type of texture. So we describe things as being rough, smooth, silky, and so on. Some things feel just as they appear. This is called real or actual texture. So the answer is letter C, texture. Very good. Number five. It refers to the degree of perceivable lightness or darkness of tones within an image. So what is, what is the answer? A, hue. 
Ano ba ang U? Pag sinabi natin U, the color itself, letter B, value, letter C, color, or letter D, shape. The answer is very good. Letter B, value. It has something to do with the lightness and darkness of the color. Number six, an element of arts that denotes directions. Alin sa mga pinagpipilian natin ang nagpapakita o nagbibigay ng direksyon? A, lines. B, texture. C, value. D, shape. Di ba, meron tayong nakikita this way, going to the comfort room. Ano yung, ano, ano yung tamang uh, sagot? The answer is... Very good. The letter A, lines. Next, number seven. A kind of line that suggests height and strength because they extend towards the sky and seem unshakable. Nagpapakita ng katatagan. No? Bakit, na, bakit matatag? Kasi nakatayo lang siya. A. Vertical, B. Horizontal, C. Diagonal, or letter D. Zigzag. The answer is... Very good! Letter A. Vertical lines. Because vertical lines are straight up and down lines that are moving in space without any slant and are perpendicular to horizontal lines. O kilala siya bilang matatag na linya. No? Number eight, how many colors are there in the color wheel? So, nahati yan sa tatlo. We have primary colors, secondary colors, and intermediate color. A, 3, B, 6, C, 9, or letter D, 12. Ay, baka sagutin nyo, A, 3 ha, kasi sinabi ko, Primary, secondary, and tertiary. Pero hindi. Pag sinabi natin primary, ano-ano yung mga kulay doon? Pag sinabi secondary, ano-ano yung mga kulay doon? Pag sinabi tertiary colors, ano-ano yung mga kulay doon? All in all, how many colors are there in the color wheel? The answer is... Very good! The letter D, 12. Ayan. So, makikita nyo po sa larawan kung ano-ano po yung mga kulay na yan. So, you need to study what are the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Next, number nine. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel or yung mga kulay na magkakatabi sa color wheel. A. Analogous. B. Complementary. C. Primary Colors or letter D. Secondary Colors. Okay. Pag sinabi natin complementary colors, ito yung mga kulay na magkakatapat sa color wheel. Kaya sila tinawag na complementary color. Pag sinabi naman natin primary colors, ito yung mga kulay na hindi kayang ibigay ng iba pang mga kulay kasi sa kanila nagsisimula yung kulay. Ano ano yung mga kulay na yan? Red, blue, and yellow. O secondary colors, these are the colors sa kapag pinagsama natin or pinaghalo natin ang primary colors, secondary ang mabubuo. Like uh, red plus blue, violet. Ano pa? Blue plus yellow, green, and the like. Okay? So, the answer is letter A. Analogous colors. Ayan. Pag sinabi natin analogous colors, ito yung mga kulay na magkakatabi sa color wheel. Okay? Or there is a common denominator to each other. Yellow, yellow orange, yellow green. Ayan. ayan. So, ganun siya. Yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, blue, blue, green, green, yellow, green, red, red, violet, violet, blue, violet. So there is a common 
color in analogous colors. Number 10. Two colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel. What is the answer? Nasabi ko na to kanina. Very good! Complementary colors. Ayan, yung mga magkakatapat na kulay, ayun yung tinatawag na complementary colors. Like red plus green. Kaya mapapansin nyo, pag Christmas, di ba, ang combination ay red and green, di ba? Purple, yellow, kaya merong ube, langka. Orange and blue, a uh, good example of that is sunset, di ba? Blue sky and orange sun. So those are the uh, good and best example of complementary colors. Alright, so once again, thank you so much. Um, hopefully, madagdagan ko ng mas marami pa ang video, hindi lang patungkol sa art, kundi sa music, PE, and health. Sabi nga dito sa Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Him who gives me strength. Once again, thanks for watching.